aptly named the Pearl of Africa by explorer Winston Churchill in 1907, Uganda is Africa condensed. Uganda lies astride the equator in eastern Africa. It is bordered by the Republic of South Sudan to the north, the Republic of Kenya to the east, the Democratic Republic of Congo to the west, and the United Republic of Tanzania and the Republic of Rwanda to the south. Kampala, city of hills. Kampala, where the people are friendly. With the best of everything the continent has to offer packed into one small but stunning destination, Uganda is home to the highest mountain range in Africa, the Mountains of the Moon in the Renzori National Park. It is also the source of the mighty Nile and offers the best whitewater rafting in the world. I have enjoyed the most seeing the animals and I'm watching a hippopotamus right now running away, which is very unusual because I didn't think they could run, um, especially the animals. But it has the highest concentration of primates on earth, including the majestic mountain gorilla, one of the rarest animals on the planet. For Uganda being one of the top 10 countries in the world in terms of biodiversity, uh, there's no excuse. Everything. Um, that everybody needs across. In fact, Uganda is called Africa Compressed, and that's what makes Uganda very unique. Uganda is a place where the people are friendly and warm, where the investment opportunities are abound and many, and where the policies macro, political and infrastructure, on infrastructure are geared towards uh, investors, come to UIA, through our one-stop center, we can deal with most of your needs as an investor. Uganda's strategic location near the center of sub-Saharan Africa has made the country a trade and investment hub within the East and Central African regions. I think that Uganda has a lot to offer to potential investors, uh, not, as, not only as a standalone country, but also as part of the East African community, specifically in the fields of agribusiness, uh, where there's a lot of, of, of possibilities still grow potential for the country, uh, also in logistics and in tourism. I do see that uh, there is still a lot of potential and opportunities for investors to, to grow with the country and to profit from the, the, the enormous potential this country has to offer. Uganda's liberalized economy is growing rapidly and has created a favorable investment climate. This is due to the current political stability and favorable economic policies that the government has put in place. Uganda, together with the other members of the East African community, has embarked on a massive infrastructure improvement program that covers national roads and regional railways, among a host of other improvements. These improvements will ease the transport of equipment, raw materials and finished products within Uganda, the region and beyond. Uh, every investor would like to invest in a very secure environment and, uh, and I must say Uganda is one of the safest countries right now in the world thanks to the government's uh, vigilance in terms of uh, um, protecting its citizens and investments of uh, foreigners and Ugandans as well. We have mineral beneficiation, we have tourism, we have agro-processing, agro Although the majority of Ugandans are agriculture based in their income generating, it's time now also to look at the commercial, getting huge production out of um, small pieces of land by commercial enterprises and uh, ICT. With an impressive list of minerals like silver, gold, lithium, iron ore, zinc, cobalt, beryl, copper, lead and many more, Uganda's mineral resources are an untapped source ready for investment. It is very rare to find a country with minerals spread like this apart from 
Democratic Republic of Congo and South Africa. But ours are all now known in, to exist. The only thing is that now we need to carry out exploration, which gives such a big opportunity for investors because you now start with this virgin territory and, and, and in a peaceful atmosphere with good regulatory regime, with a good um, environment and, and peace and stability and good infrastructure, um, with a population which speaks perfect English and with schools and with amenities and everything else is yet to go. So this is the place to be. In fact, there is no place for investment now, in my view, which is near this place, which is like this place. So this must be the investment place. And, and that's Uganda. This is a unique resource, or geological resource, whose potential for economic exploitation is very, very high. According to the analysis we have done, they have high values of rare art. They are aluminous clays because they have high contents of alumina. And from them can also be extracted scandium and gallium, which are some of the rare metals, which are rare and quite expensive. In addition to a variety of other you know, products based on the technology that one uses. Uganda's climate is favorable for not only the traditional cash crops like cotton, coffee and tea, but also horticulture. Through policy advocacy efforts of private sector associations like Uganda Flower Exporters Association, UFEA, the government and donors have acknowledged the importance of private sector-led export growth for the Ugandan economy through strengthening of non-traditional agricultural export projects and have agreed to continue exporting the industry primarily in the areas of policy, research and training. Agro-processing is on top of our agenda as government because Uganda is uh, blessed with very nice weather. We have rain seasons twice in a year and that gives us a lot of opportunities to grow both cash and food crops. So we have a lot of potentials in, in, in agro-processing. The rapid growth of the floriculture subsector due to significant demand for Uganda's flowers offers opportunities for investment in not only farming but areas such as the production of propagation materials, manufacture of packaging materials, establishment of soil analysis laboratories and services, and the manufacture of greenhouse plastics. Bienzika Enterprises Limited is the leading player in a growing market at the heart of Uganda's food industry. Incorporated in Uganda on 26th October 1990, the company has undergone steady development in the poultry sector in Uganda and currently produces 250,000 broiler chicks and 90,000 layer chicks per week. With a recent 4 million US dollar joint investment by PCP and Vokstra, Bienzika will be able to expand into the production of high quality poultry feed. With this move, Bienzika will fill a critical gap in the poultry value chain in Uganda and access to feeds of consistent quality at stable prices. Uganda's ICT sector is a dynamic and vibrant sector and has registered double-digit growth over the last few years with the bulk of investment expenditure in the rollout of mobile broadband solutions and internet-related infrastructure. The Ugandan ICT market is growing at a cumulative annual growth rate of over 25% with significant growth seen in areas of mobile devices, computer applications, information processing, storage and dissemination, as well as mobile finance, e-finance, global connectivity and online trade. ICT is an, uh, an opportunity that is waiting to be taken up because we have a young population about half of the Ugandans are young. 
But this young population is also educated. We have many universities, we have many colleges and schools. So it gives opportunity for those people who want to go into ICT because you have a population of young people enthusiastic and fairly educated who just needs a bit of skilling and then you have uh, opportunity in, uh, in ICT. The government of Uganda has also put in place a number of incentives to attract investors. The government has substantial uh, uh, land available and when an investor uh, uh, expresses interest to invest in the four areas uh, which I'm going to mention, one is tourism, uh, two is ICT, information technology, commun uh, communication technology, agro-processing and mineral beneficiation. If you are going to invest in any of those four sectors, the government will give you land at no cost. And we also do facilitate investors, particularly one, in setting up the business uh, in, in the country. Two, we also help them and assist them to get the investment license. And once you have the investment license, then other benefits such as importation of, uh, of, of uh, machinery and equipment into the country uh, at no at, at that don't attract any taxes. So those are some of the benefits that we do give to, 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 to our investors. Don't believe what they tell you in the regular media that Africa is still just poor and there is war and there is famine. There is so much more than that. There is plenty of opportunity and, and there is so many entrepreneurs benefiting from it now. And it's, it's, a, it's a great, great country. I love the Ugandan people. And um, I mean, it's also a bit of adventure, of course. For us, it's, it's, it's been a hell of a fun and that's, that's an important part of doing business as well, I believe. The benefits are accessible by all investors, whether Ugandan or foreign. Uganda is pretty welcoming to investors and uh, it took us a, a while, but after some initial challenges, we have been quite comfortable in the Ugandan market. And, and we see Uganda as a really interesting market as, as a medium-sized enterprise investor from the Netherlands. The time to invest in Uganda is actually now. And one of the potential benefits, uh, advantages that Uganda has is that we are sitting right in the middle of Africa. You're able to reach the following countries at ease. Uh, DRC in the west, uh, you have Kenya in the east, we have Tanzania in the south, we have Rwanda, Burundi, Central Africa in the, north, uh, in the, in the northwest, you have Sudan. So all these countries, you are a market of over, 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 over 500 million people, you can reach them right from Uganda. So in, in terms of doing business, I think there's no better place to, to, to set up uh, an enterprise or, or to come and invest other than Uganda.